saying, baby girl. <laughs> Sean's plug for new hip hop and R&B. Vanetta's Clubhouse is up and going strong right now. I am really excited because when we when I rebranded the show, the whole idea was to pull people inside the clubhouse that you guys wanted to hear from, wanted to see, add live components, all that good good. So I told y'all I don't do interviews. Y'all know that I do conversations and I I, I feed off energy. When Latasha Scott walked in this room, that energy was just on 200 million. Listen. Listen. Connected. I mean, instantly. <laughs> instantly. Yeah. That's why I said, see, we supposed to that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, I'm so glad that you're here. We got to first talk about this this video that, it was like a video clip that you posted when you were in the wedding gown. Yes. And um, for your for your single. Thank first you. of all, girl, why you had to be looking so good? Thank you. Why you? And you're then so you, sweet. You come Thank in. You. Look at you. Come you're in. so sweet. Come in here with the, with the hair. I mean, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and speaking of hair, uh, when I was watching the show, it is one scene with your husband. I don't know what color your hair is. Mm-hmm. Y'all sitting at the table look like y'all was eating avocado toast. And I'm yes. mad because I wanted yes. some. Yes, avocado. That's right. Plant-based. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Come on. And it was something about your hair and uh-huh. your makeup, the glow that you had. Really? I said, I can't wait till she come in here so I can see yeah. this glow in yeah. person. Aww. Yes. Okay, so... Let's 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 talk about this this new music. Yeah. Tell us what tell us where it's coming from. What type of place are we coming from with this new um, music? Several different places. You mm-hmm. know, I've had some challenges, mm-hmm. you know, before we started filming and as we're filming. And I just kinda took to the pen and in the pad to just tell my story, mm-hmm. you know, how I was feeling, to really, you know, have therapy from it. You know. And sometimes Ooh. that's how that's what I do. I write in mm-hmm. order to get over things you know some people <gasps> go do things and I yeah. write that's my that's my therapy and then sometimes even on the stage that's my therapy but just being able to write you know from my heart and, and yeah. understanding that um, there's a higher being come on somebody and even when you're going through the peaks and the valleys you know when you feel like you've come been on. betrayed by friends and family you just have to go to God and I just took to that Yeah, and I said listen because I've gone through this I want to be able to share my story with people and to you, invite them into to, this, to your heart conversation yeah. yeah and you know I always say when I DJ every day I say that music is therapy because sometimes you just never know somebody could be two shakes away from throwing it all away absolutely um, they could be they could be really going through something that they feel like nobody else understands mm-hmm. and then something that you you say yeah. in your music something that um, is something that they feel yeah. and they connect with is yeah. that where you feel like this this music is coming from that sort of place? Um, I can say that I know that it's coming from that place mm-hmm. because last night I did a show in Atlanta, mm-hmm. a couple of the songs off the album, mm-hmm. and it was just an overwhelming response of people coming to me, kind of giving me their testimonies, like mm-hmm. they're going through a lot, and the song I'm Yours was there to help them. Just People were crying, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm walking in the gift and not even understand. You know, you you put music out. You wanted to touch the heart, but in a way, I was like, oh, I was overwhelmed by it because people were coming up to me, giving me a hug. Like, I love you. I love you Ooh. for what you represent. I love the music. I love the fact that there's a message in the music, and I right. get it. I relate to that. Yeah. And when you can have that type of relatability, you know, they embrace it in so many different ways, and it makes me want to continue to do it. And you know that that answer that you just gave. Not only is it so detailed. It feels so real um, because, like I said when you earlier when we started, mm-hmm. I'm an energy person. Me too. And, you know, and some people are like, oh, here she go with the energy stuff. No, nah, I'm for so real. for real. That stuff is real. So for real because, yes. like, I'm going to tell you, I have artists come in here sometimes. They don't want to talk. They don't want to say nothing. And I be, like, ready to be like, Sway, we can cut all this off. No, that's true. It, it, that's but true. when you come in and you have that type of energy, you know. It changes the whole trajectory of the, of the interview. Now, with this particular album, you know, now you're solo. Uh, well, mm-hmm. let's not say now. Well, yeah. this is a solo album. Yes, thank you. Do you feel like you're in a a good space with this particular album? Like, how do you feel put it, finally putting out a solo project that I'm sure is something that you've always wanted to, to do? Mm, I so, feel good. Mm-hmm. I feel blessed. Mm -hmm. Um, it's an energy about it Mm -hmm. you know because I was able to sing how I felt it's not so much somebody coming in I had a couple of writers to come in and help Yeah, but for the most part I was able to just give all of me and those conversations were real deep conversations Mm -hmm. and some people don't like this just like having a journal you know Mm -hmm. keep it to yourself Yeah, and I, I just wanted to share you know it was times when I felt like I was afraid you know I felt like I'm on an island by myself you know all these things are happening who do I go who do I who do I run to 
who can I run to, you know? <laughs> and then there were times when I felt like, you know, coming out of the R&B world, yeah. you know, everybody's like, oh, this different genre of music. I'm part of, you know, I'm still a part of gospel music. It doesn't matter what genre that I sing. It's yeah. the message that's in the music. But I just feel good. I, I feel like it is now my time to um, stand up and, and use the gift in ways that people can't imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you know, one of the things that um, that we do, especially when we have interviews, I always do fan talk and I ask, my, I ask the people, you know, what do you want to know, right? Mm -hmm. Was that, and let's take the TV show off the table, okay. out of the equation, okay. and, and we talking real feelings here. How difficult was that conversation um, for you about wanting to do this project on your own? Whether Because some people may or may not wanted to hear that. Well, to be honest with you, yeah. the project was for my sister and I. Mm -hmm. My husband was very um, instrumental in making that happen. He had already set calls up the top of 2022 mm -hmm. to say the Scott sisters are going to do something else. And we talked about what it would look like to do things outside of the group. Yeah. Because the focus was always on escape. And then there were times we would want to do things and people would just say, oh, y'all stay with escape. And so we were like, OK, we're not going to do that this time. Mm -hmm. So it was us. Yeah. In the beginning. And then things kind of took a turn. And I was like, OK, now we're kind of going left and we're not. Yeah, yoked and and when I go into a project, like it's the energy got to be right. It does. The love has to be there. It can't yeah. be back and forth, no banter, especially when you're doing inspiration. How are you gonna inspire other people when you're busting a fight? Yeah, so I chose to just do it on my own. Um, and with that, I think too that may have probably set my sister off um, mm -hmm. in a way, you know, yeah. because she was like, "Oh, we're doing this," so people don't even know that, and I yeah. didn't get a chance to talk about it because a lot of the scenes have been edited. You know, it's a lot of editing going on. And Man. I mean, it's for ratings, too. You know, and yeah. I get it. But at the it end is. of the day, that's my family. Right. You know, and you just want to make sure that we steer clear of what people's opinions are. Yes. And, and stay prayerful, the two of us, because we have to go through this in the public eyes. A lot of people go through things and y'all don't nobody see it. Yeah. But the way that we were brought up, my mom always said, hey, if y'all got problems with one another, y'all going to keep it right here. In the house. In the house. Um, when I tell you we can turn over tables, we, we can are... fight. <laughs> um, right. That's just what it was. And so when things started going left, I'm like, what is this? And and then, two, my sister, you know, when you like attention, I, I don't care about all of that. I just yeah. want to sing. You just want to sing. I didn't sign up for all the other extra that come along with it. I'm not yeah. I'm not good at lying. I'm yeah. just not right. good at that. Why, why, do you, why do you think that that was something that came out on the show, that type of accusation? Why do you think that somebody would say that? I don't know. And it was strange because she said something about it. And then I didn't know to ex the extent until I watched it with you guys. I didn't know about 30. There was, it was never brought up. My sisters never said anything about it. Keep in mm -hmm. mind, we were together. Even when Candy and Tiny walked away, We were. it was just the two of us. We had did each the So So Deaf concert when she was pregnant. That's why I'm like, where is all this stuff coming from? Um, but, you know, it's just it's very unfortunate that we're yeah. in this space. But, you know, sometimes people don't want to hear the truth when the lie is yeah. so much more entertaining. And I can tell you <clears throat> from an inspirational point, you know, we all know that God is a way maker, right? Yes. But do you, and again, we took the TV show off the table. Do you still see a men between the two of you? Oh, for sure. I mean, and it's been said that she did it for TV. You know, sometimes people want that light to do spinoffs and other stuff. Yeah. You know, so, and then at the end of the day, it's my sister. So she's probably like, okay, when the TV turned off, I'm about to go back to and, it's, and that's hard to damaged. do that. Yeah, I mean, because people look at it like you said those things. But she did the same thing to Candy. You know, she had yeah. to come back and apologize the mm -hmm. last show. So, yeah. I don't know. Is it going to be an apology for me, too? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you have to deal with... Because, like, now you, you, got, you got new music out. Yeah. You're on a promo run. And you know people are going to ask that question yeah. and see I, I've done reality TV no, so I am so not, maybe know. not on the level right but I do know and so one, maybe you can shed light on what, how it's edited and... There, you have no control over the editing room No. and whenever I film I always tell people don't you say nothing yeah. that you don't want to come out Yeah. because you don't have any control you don't. over the editing room no you know yeah. I, my kids have to go back and watch me yeah. you know and, and it's crazy that some of their friends have even found the show but like, is this your mama? I'd yeah. Be like, Dang. And for me, but, like <laughs> on my side, there was a flashback scene, and I only shot the scene with my sister. Mm -hmm. So they had a flashback scene. The first scene was her and I with the argument. So the next scene, they made it seem like that was 
way before, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was like, wait, how do y'all flash back to a scene that was never there? It said three days ago. Yeah. And I'm like, how do we do that yeah. when it was never a scene there? Yeah. So there was trickerization going on. And so yeah. people were like, you're the mean girl. You're coming into these scenes. I'm like, my sister just said I was a thief. Yeah, because when you watch the show, truly, you know, and, and I hate to say it, but it is what it is. The the court of public opinion can be just so, uh, yeah. Yeah. so aggravating. So when you're watching the show, mm-hmm. it appears like we can't get this together because yep. we can't agree on a headliner. We can't that. agree because I'm I'm being accused of stealing yep. money that I'm telling you I didn't steal. Yeah. And now it looks like we beefing back and forth. And now I got to deal with this outside of this TV show. Take Man. all that off the table. Yes. You still have to deal That's with that family. as family. That's family. Yes. No matter what anybody says and I made a comment like you know when you're family you can't do anything about that so guess what you can't so you, you can't. have to work it out it wasn't a negative connotation it was just I gotta deal with it you gotta you deal my with family, it family so what am I gonna do right right alright guys we are gonna pay some bills we are gonna come back I hate saying paying bills it's so cliche but yeah, you know what it, it is. is what it is right <laughs> uh, we are gonna come back 704-570-WPEG I got about um six minutes if you wanna make a call but y'all know just like I be on the live don't y'all call up here with no negative stuff cause guess what I can hang up Charlotte's plug for new hip hop and R&B Power 98 Charlotte's plug for new hip hop and R&B all right, guys, so Latasha Scott still in the studio. Girl, you feeling good? You feel, Oh, hold on, I ain't got your mic on. That's my fault. Hold on. Like I, what you said, we're having a conversation. It's not yeah. so much as an interview. I feel like right. I've already known you for a long time. I'm like, seriously, I totally feel like that. Mm-hmm. And like one thing that we were talking about um, before we went to break, we were talking about, you know, how reality TV and how things are edited. Yeah. And. One thing I do want to ask you, I mean, we kind of talked about it off air, but for real, for real, when you sit back and you watch it, when you watch the show and and of course, a lot of the stuff you're seeing, you're seeing it for the first time. Yes. With us. How does that make you? I know how it made me feel when I saw myself on reality TV. I wasn't upset with it, but on the same token, I was like, dang, why they edit it like that? Yeah, I feel like I've been duped. <laughs> I'm telling Not you, it's bamboozled. Bamboozled. For real. Like like I told you before, there was a scene that mm-hmm. they flashed back to that was never seen before that. So how are you flashing back to something? That never so, was yeah, something. Yeah, it was never there. Right. So, yeah, I, I felt like, wow, what, what, what's happening here? Well, you guys are trying to create a narrative that's not the truth, and I'm not about that. Not about that. Period. Do you feel, do you see yourself on the, if there were, do you see yourself on the season two? I do not. I don't blame you. I do not. Especially if you feel like you're painted in a picture. Like, it's, it's one thing to accuse somebody, and I'm not talking about anybody. I'm just saying in general for what we saw right. as, 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 you know, as watching the show. Mm-hmm. But I would feel some type of way if somebody accused me of something, said that they actually had proof that I could go to jail mm-hmm. and then it'd be family. Mm. Hard, ain't it? How do you come back from that? Prayer. I promise you, it's I mean, gonna take prayer. I mean, he and a is lot a of conversation. A lot of conversation. You know, and it's it's very strange to me because I, it's almost like when you don't hear anything, mm-hmm. nobody's ever brought this up. And then when she brought it up during the filming, she I still didn't know what it was until y'all watched it. We watched it Whoa. together. Back up. Yeah, yeah. Like you talking about Back something up. that you that happened. You say what she said, ten years, to eleven years when yeah. she was pregnant with my niece. Yeah, because she said that her oldest was in I was with you the whole time when I was with when you was with my with my with my niece. We did shows together without the other two girls. So no, nobody stole from you, and I don't know what this is about. You know, like I said, we were supposed to do a duet album together. But don't you gotta have an ID? The cash? Am I? Yeah. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm just asking. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Asking. Look beneath the surface. A- absolutely. I'm just asking. Yes. Because I sure Thank enough you. can't. You can't. Can't. You can't. My I, husband can't even put a check in my. Yeah, no. Yeah, my husband can't put one in my Yeah, mind. no, it's not. Even in the joint. Okay. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Okay. Y'all, Latasha Scott is here. Um, this The new music, let's go back to that real quick before we, before we close out. This new music is a new chapter. And girl, let me tell you. What's up? Y'all got to follow. T- give everybody your Instagram real quick. At I am Latasha, L-A-T-O-C-H-A. Don't be, y'all don't be out here spelling, spelling her name Yeah, wrong. no, they do. Don't do my good sense like yeah. that. I mean, you know, my mom did spell it differently. You know, uh, yeah, she, it's but, not but the but normal I like way. Though. I like it though. You like it. Like all the way down. Like you've been killing it, especially the spread and sheen. The, oh, the spread and girl. sheen. I looked at. I was like, who was the stylist? <laughs> and John the stylist. Well, John did. John yeah. was Johnning. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was Johnning. <laughs> 
he I was, know he listen, was he listening. He hey, might John, be. You did a good thing. You, you did a real good thing. And and that spread. Do you feel like now you are like in, this is your season? Like you know how sometimes you feel like that shift is coming. Yeah. You feel like this is your shift. I this is your time. Do. I definitely oh. do. And I'm gonna walk in the light. Come you know, on, somebody. I'm walking and walking the gift and walking the purpose. And it's not just what people put. You know, they put. They try to set a bar for you. Don't set the bar for me. Don't set. No, I have the bar that I say set. that one more time. Don't set the bar for me. Boo-boo. Don't set the bar for me, boo boo. <laughs> Because if you try to set the bar for me, trust and believe, I'm going to knock it all the way down. Okay, now. Guys, I'm going to give y'all a few minutes to, um, if you want to call to ask a question or two. And remember what I told y'all now. Keep it cute now. Because I got an ability to hit that button yeah. to give you that tone now. Keep it cute to keep it mute. <laughs> okay. And keep it moving one or the yeah, other. <laughs> Latasha Scott is the plug. Charlotte's plug for new hip-hop and R&B. Power 98. Oh, my God. Who is this? It's your truck driver right here. I ain't hollering at you in a minute, but what's good? Oh, what's good? You know I love my truck because y'all be watching me on TikTok when I be in here dancing all kind of stuff. I appreciate you checking in. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. I want to holler at Latasha, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She hear you. You know what what's we said now. Okay. You keeping it cute, right? Oh, no, no, no. I what? heard what y'all said. I heard let, what y'all said. Let me find out who I'm talking okay. to. What's your name? So I'm about to say something to you. What's your first name? My name is Dante. What's up, Dante? All right, what's going on? I just want to say I enjoy you singing. I think you are the voice of escape. People have said that a long time ago. I'm not trying to be shady, but I do. I really think that you are the voice of that. I think your voice is great. I'm excited about your gospel album, inspirational album, whichever way you want to say that. And that's all I wanted to say to you. I have nothing shady to say. I appreciate you. No, I appreciate you. That means a lot to me, and I'm going to take that in my heart. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All you right. stay you stay safe out there. Blow the horn for me. One more question for Latasha, though. Is you ran out. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Okay, is it something for everybody on the inspirational album? Like, do you have a traditional song? Oh, man, listen. Tell us a little bit about the album. I got a little bit of everything. You know, I come from the church, but I have the R&B background, too. Yeah. So that's in there. And then, you know, I got some turn up songs. I got one, and I just, I call it my college part. My college part. <laughs> Okay. And, it's called, and it's called Turn It Up. Okay. So yeah, it's it's okay. a it's a life album to be honest for everybody to enjoy. I, when I t- I would love for you to call back up here since you keep in touch and you check up on her to let once the album comes out on Good Friday to let um her know and myself too. I'm Come on, on IG to let on me know how you feel about the rolls. album. Come on now. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Because people can feel that yes, smile yes, through the yes, radio. They, can. they feel your energy. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Love Thank you for that. You. Charlotte's plug for new hip hop and R and B. Power ninety eight.